Hello and welcome to the point once again and you read it right folks uh, we'll take a look on the current implementation of occlusion cooling in Godot 4. As you can see here I have a simple scene I have some wall kind of mesh all the meshes are very simple with no materials and if I select everything else you can see that they are actually being rendered behind the scenes right? So now with Godot 4 there's a node which I can search for, occlusion, occluder instance. With this thing here, you can create a new occluder like this, and then bake occluder. You'll see that behind the scenes, basically what it does is include everything inside its occlusion logic, and also create this bounding box of what the occlusion is referencing. So now if I do exactly the same thing, you'll see that they don't disappear. So you also need to come to project settings and enable this occlusion cooling. I'm not sure if it'll stay like this forever, but do remember to do this. At first I didn't, just as I showed you, and you might be confused. But once you do, ta-da, you see that they are not being rendered behind the scenes anymore. However, one important thing to note is that the current implementation being used is great for static objects, which means that uh, like objects that don't move in the scene. As an example, if I come here to uh, just run the scene, you see that I am looking to the walls and now things are being weird to the right. This is because the objects that are supposed to be occlusion cooled are moving and this is not what the the code expects it expects things that are not able to to move so I'll just comment out this and though i can't show you easily like this you can totally believe me that these things will not be rendered and the only way that i can see is that if i go into this wall you'll see that everything will just go away you see, like it goes out. To debug, you can come to your 3D scene and click here and click in advanced occlusion cooling buffer. With this, you can see what the buffer is seen to do occlusion cooling. The black things are the objects being used. This looks to me at least like a ray tracer algorithm or similar. Uh, I don't, I didn't check the implementation to see exactly how it is. But you see the basics of the implementation is that if this black thing is behind this black thing, it just gets dropped from the scene. That's the basis. Let's see uh, another example, a little bit more complex. Let's say I have a CHG with some things. Uh, you can imagine this is some furnishing in a house with some objects within it. I also already have an occluder instance set up. If I select my mesh instances and go behind the wall, you can see they just stop rendering behind the scenes. If I delete the occlusion cooling instance, you'll see that they will just stay there at all times. Uh, another thing to test out is if I go behind a CSG instance. So this thing here, this box is actually a CSG and you see that CSG doesn't count for the occlusion cooling. Once again, in advanced, you can see that the CSG is like white. Maybe in a future PR, this will be also included, but this is how it is right now. And last thing is if I get this wall going to materials and enable transparency, you'll see that Basically now the wall will not make this stop rendering. As you can see, it just keeps rendering all the time. Just because this wall is now, or can be transparent, it's not transparent, but could be transparent, say a window, which means that things actually should be rendered. Of course, from here, what you can do is create your own scene with static things. Say you want these things to be occluded, but you also want to add more things after the fact. Just do the occlusion from within this scene and I'll just create a new one and bake. So I'm including these things here 
and from here I just will save a little scene say uh, and here I'll actually just delete everything and include the example scene so with this you can now add moving objects on top in a way that the occlusion is being done within this scene uh, I, I guess it's also good to move the wall yeah so the wall is here and then from here you can just create the moving aspects of your scene from outside without actually messing with the occlusion baking system which is being done within this scene or what you can do is just check the documentation of this occlusion occluder 3d maybe i can open here for you occluder 3d and you can actually make everything by hand if you check the documentation from the pi itself you'll see that occluders can be added removed or updated at any time, even during runtime, if you change the Occluder 3D. Many, many thanks to GF Ons, G Fons, not sure how to pronounce, for implementing this occlusion cooling through this PR. Take a look for yourself. You'll see that the current implementation is only a partial one. More improvements may be coming, and PRs are welcome anytime. Thank you for watching. See you next time.